Hey friends, Christy Glass with a trio of finished objects for you today. Some of you may have been following my journey with the Camaro sweater. It is a sweater pattern by Tannis of Tannis Fiber Arts. And she and her husband also dye yarn, and she had dyed this specific colorway to go with the Camaro sweater, which she called Camaro. And I bought that yarn to make the sweater. I love the sweater. And I had a lot of extra yarn. I definitely had extra of the main color because I misjudged what was required for the pattern. But I had tons of the color left over too, as you can see in my necklace. I had so much extra yarn that I made a pair of knee-high socks. And I will put the link down below of the knee-high socks video and the sweater video. And I had so much more yarn and I just am still so obsessed with this colorway that I decided to make some jewelry. To be honest, I was inspired by Suzanne Summer, who is the woman who made the Love You Baby shawl. I became aware of her actually during Vogue Knitting Live in January when I snapped a picture of her in Times Square. I didn't know who it was. And then somehow I figured out it was her. And so I started following her on Instagram. She has this necklace that she makes and gives a class on. I think she lives um, in Europe somewhere. And so it's not, it's not happening here in the States, but I, I noticed this necklace and I thought, I just really love that. And the shape of the necklace reminded me of the Camaro sweater and the rest is history. So this is not the necklace I'm referring to. This is the tassel necklace, but I wanted to show you the necklace that is inspired by Suzanne. Uh, Summer's necklace. Okay, here it is. Now, to be honest, this could be, this could also be a wall hanging, uh, not just a necklace. Shall I try it on for you? Yes, I will. I just went for it. So, basically, it, you can, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I cast on a number of stitches. I think it was around 30 or 33, something like that. And I wanted it to be asymmetrical, so it's a little hard to tell, I think. But it is actually one third is this side and two thirds is this side uh, of the piece. And uh, I basically went with the same order as the sweater. I did a combination of stockinette and garter stitches. And then I put a border around the whole thing with an eye cord uh, border. Actually, did I miss the side? No, this, there, there's, an eye cord, <laughs> there's an eye cord border around the whole piece. So if you know how to do a chevron shape, you can make one of these. And then I just added tassels with the colors of the rainbow. Now, as far as the jewelry piece goes, it's pretty simple. You just buy a few jump rings and a chain and the clasp of your choice. I got these at my favorite uh, jewelry source, which is called Toho Shoji. T-O-H-O-S-H-O-J-I. It's on 6th Avenue around 36th, 37th Street. And it's kind of by M&J Trimming and Chick-fil-A south of Bryant Park. So if you want to visit New York City, Head to Bryant Park, which is my favorite park, where they have Nitty City teaching you how to knit on Tuesdays in the summer. And then head south to Toho Shoji and get your supplies. So I like this. I mean, I think it's really fun to wear with a neutral top. It just kind of gives you that statement piece, especially in the months when it is too hot to wear our normal knitted sweaters and scarves and shawls and things. I think this is a really nice piece. So check out Suzanne Summer's Instagram feed for more inspiration there. And if you can take a class from her, you should. And if you can't, then here is just one person looking at that picture and creating her own version with the Camaro um, yarn. And my third necklace, well, I, when we talk about tassels next, I'll talk about tassels next. Because I had that on, but I didn't really talk about it. So here, let me just show you the back view of this. Here, must be close up. Look here. Close up. And here's the back. I thought maybe I was going to have to Mod Podge that with some fabric Mod Podge to make it stiffen, but I think it's laying quite nicely, so I skipped that step. I don't think Suzanne does that, but I was going to do that. Now the tassels, it's a little trickier. I went to Toho Shoji and I got a piece that I could build off of. I was thinking maybe I would knit something or crochet a piece, but then I had this idea that maybe I could find some mesh or something. I ended up finding this piece of jewelry and I almost forgot to take a picture of it, but I did take a picture of it so you can get an idea. It's just a piece of like metal with holes in it that you can play with. You can kind of see it on the back view of this piece. Um, it's really hard to tell, but I'll put the picture in. And then I made these tassels with my loom, of course, my favorite new tool. And then I just tied them all on. I used like a surgeon knot, square knot situation because I wanted to make sure they stayed secure and wouldn't fall off. Most of the tassel jewelry I'm seeing lately is not clumped up like this. It would be like a tassel 
you know, every couple inches spread out on a chain. And that's fine. Like, I thought about experimenting with that. But I, I actually really like how this turned out. It kind of, you know, women like me who don't have a lot going on up here, it's nice to add something to the party, right? So, so this works for me. It might not work for everyone who has other... Okay, who has more slopes? Like, let's just face it, I am pretty flat right here. Like, that's the correct word. And so it just lays nicely, and it's like a nice attention piece. And again, I love how all the colors come together, and it was a great way to use my extra yarn. So that's my second piece. It's the tassel necklace. Now, the third one is crochet. And I have to admit, I found this on Pinterest, or as my friend Angela says, Pinterest. I say Pinterest. And uh, I'll just show you a close-up before I put it on. This is just little crochet circles. So you just, uh, if you know how to crochet, basic crochet, you probably know how to do this. I think I just did maybe five single crochets and then doubled up each of them for a total of 10. Uh, and then I just put them on this, what is this called, ball chain? I always call it dog tag chain, but I think it's technically called ball chain. And I just put it on there. And uh, I was done. It took me, you know, it didn't take very long because these little circles, the one thing about ball chain is it's sometimes hard to get on. There we go. Uh, so I just made these little circles and then slipped them on. So this was maybe the fastest and most easiest version of this jewelry. And again, it's just a little pop of color. So you can just, I like my necklaces short, as you can see, but this could look cute you know, hey, longer, just all of them could look cute longer, but I like mine sort of near my face. Again, go back to the other explanation of why. Look up, look up, right here, right here. So that's my um, Camaro leftovers, made three ways. And I actually still have extra yarn, so if you think these are amazing, just like I do, I'm going to put two kits up on eBay today. Here they are. Um, you can see they have tons, there's tons of yarn in there still for you to play around with. Here's one kit, here's the other one. I stuck a swatch in there too because there was a little less of the uh, brown, so if you want to pull apart that swatch and use it. Or I thought maybe the swatch could be a nice base for the tassel necklace if you didn't want to go hunting for a piece, you know, just stuck it in there. So these are the two kits. Go bid your hearts out. It'll be up for about a week. And because uh, I want you to have the yarn. I, I'm done. I, I've, I'm done with the Camaro yarn. I have plenty of extra. So someone else should have it so they can make this beautiful jewelry as well. Let's just put them all on. Come on. Let's do it. More is more. More is more is more. These chains were pretty inexpensive. So all of my supplies actually were less than $30 and probably even less than that because I got a couple extra things on my bill. Here, maybe if we just spread it out, look. Oh yeah, see, look, I'm looking awesome now. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this sort of change of pace, right? Like I've really been into knitting garments lately, but I really enjoyed making these necklaces. It was like my own little craft afternoon. I had my little pliers out. I was putting the chains together. It's very fulfilling, loved it. Thanks for checking in Christy Glass Knits, bye.